Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create custom filters in Drupal. Custom filters are a plugin type. So like any other plugin like block or field, widget, field, field uh, formatter, we have to create a folder inside our source and plugin uh, for um, plugin folder named as filter so let's jump and create that folder so for that I'm creating the folder inside source plugin uh, of my module Drupal hacks and the name of the folder is filter so the folder is there now here we have to create a file uh, and the name of the file could be anything depending on the name of your filter here I'm going with the name Drupal x filter dot php. I'll copy the code I have here for saving the time of the videos so that I can see uh, I can spend more time in explaining than actually writing the stuff. I'll remove this. I'll explain or add this later once we'll have basic understanding of how to create filters. Uh, let's move this also so uh, for uh, writing fil creating filters okay so for creating filters first we have to uh, extend the uh, base class called filter base and then we have to write a function called uh, process uh, this function inside this function uh, we tell how we are going to process the text uh, we would get in the editor through the editor so this uh, process function uh, returns filter process result type object and what else and why do we need to return this type of object only we will discuss about this later before that like any other plugin i have told you uh, here also we have to uh, disc uh, we have to tell drupal uh, uh, that how it, it is going to discover it this plugin then for that we have to define annotation for annotation the annotation keyword is going to be L filter and it is uh, wrapping ID title description and type ID is going to be the ID of the filter Ta I title and description like title of the filter and description helper text the fourth parameter is the type which defines how uh, or how my uh, filter is going to behave so there are four types of filter for example let me let me search and show you group filter okay filter api overview so you would see it here uh, give me a second yeah so there are four types uh, first uh, the filter type markup language uh, type html restrictor type transform reversible and type transform uh, traversable so out of the, these four you can read more about it from the drupal.org official documentation we are going to be using this as we have to convert something uh, something non html markup to html markup uh, so that is why i am going with this uh, and uh, let's let's save it and then let's refresh it clear the cache and then let's see what it will do okay so I'm going to check this inside my text editors page so I have these type of uh, editors format I'm going to edit the basic type and then once you have this file you would see that okay it was already <laughs> checked I was testing this before the demo so you would see that over here Drupal X filter I'll check it again save it and then we'll simply go let's let's test this okay let's not test this let's do more because here we are re returning nothing but just the test text so let's do more on this so for doing more let's 
do this whenever uh, whenever uh, any in the editor this token is going to be used uh, let's return it uh, let's return it with this HTML markup uh, let's test this then you would understand it better so I have a page test filter custom filter here I'm going to use the token Drupal hex and I'll save it and from here you can see that it has the the token Drupal hex has been converted into hex page link and which is coming from this function so this filter is working fine we are converting uh, something non HTML to HTML uh, now what else what else we can do if we have a requirement to attach uh, some libraries or cache caching or other metadata we can do that inside this function uh, also yeah also uh, we can add the settings uh, form to this uh, our filter and where do we see that settings form so if you edit any uh, HTML format sorry editor format you would see the settings over here for example for allowing limit uh, for this filter limit allowed HTML tags and correct uh, faulty HTML there is a settings form we can also have one settings form for our uh, filter so let's implement that let's refresh it and let's see if I would see anything over here yeah so see uh, I'm getting a settings form for my if I uncheck it I would not see over here if I'll check it again I'll see it so it is this is a so it is working and inside this I'm basically providing a checkbox and asking for user to uh, if they want to attach library or not with the filter if it will check I'll attach some library uh, I'll go refresh the page and I don't think any library is attached over here so let's attach the library through the code uh, for that let's copy it and paste it here you would see I'm getting this settings I have saved in the settings form in this variable settings and I'm checking if it is set and it is no if it is not null then uh, attach the library so if the user of the editor is allowing to attach library then only attach the library and I already have one library created with this name filter let me show it to you in the dot libraries dot folder of uh, file of your module you can add a library inside this library uh, is basically adding a CSS file called CSS slash filter dot CSS and you can see that file over here so basically I'm uh, styling the anchor tag so I've attached this library over here let me refresh it and see it has changed and then let me go and uncheck it will the okay so see the at, library is not attached now like if I want I can again go and attach the library so we can do a lot of stuff inside this process function uh, and that is how we create custom filters in Drupal thank you